A builder of sport in the truest sense of the word, this outstanding volunteer has truly dedicated himself to serving his community by helping to establish sport organizations, events, and facilities for all to enjoy. Growing up in Fort William, he first got involved in sports by playing baseball and hockey, and returning from the war effort in 1946, he used his strong organizational and leadership skills to bring the right combination of people and resources together to get the job done. By the late 1940s, the Royal Canadian Legion Central Committee had been formed, and in 1952, Fred was elected as the organization's sports chairman, a position he held until 1960, dedicating himself to providing sports opportunities for the youth of his community. His first success came in 1953 when he spearheaded the establishment of Fort Williams' first ever Little League Baseball program for boys 12 and under. Serving as the organization's first president, the original four teams soon grew to include four leagues. And in 1960, he was named assistant administrator and from 1963 to 66 took on the role of Ontario District 3 administrator. And it was during this time that Northwestern Ontario won its first of Canadian Little League titles, the first of many to come. In 1965, his efforts earned him the Meritorious Service Award from the Little League Baseball Congress. Another sport which benefited from his efforts, track and field. Serving as chair of the Legion Track and Field Program from 1964 to 1968, he helped raise funds to support local athletes that were attending the sports camp at Peace Gardens. An executive member of the Thunder Bay branch of the Amateur Athletic Union of Canada between 1959 and 69, he served as its president in 1966. His efforts also helped to contribute to the raising of funds for the development of an all-weather track venue which was utilized for the 1981 Canada Summer Games. In addition to his commitment to youth athletics, Fred was also a strong believer in the importance of recognizing those citizens who volunteered their time for sport and the athletes who excelled in sports. It was with this goal in mind that the concept for a sports celebrity dinner was born. And that first dinner was held in 1955 at the CLE Coliseum and was referred to by the papers of the day as being undoubtedly the most ambitious event of its kind ever to be undertaken in connection with the Lakehead. On hand for that first event was Fort William-born baseball star Jeff Heath. Fred's organizational skills were also put to use, helping to organize Alex Del Vecchio Day, which welcomed home the homegrown player and a number of other NHL stars. For 25 years, Fred worked tirelessly as the chairman of the Sports Celebrity Dinner, an event that recognized citizens for their volunteerism and sports achievements and raised money for youth sports and other worthwhile community causes. It also provided people the opportunity to welcome some very famous sports stars to their community. Revenues from the event were also set aside for the future establishment of his ultimate dream, a Sports Hall of Fame. On October 28, 1978, that dream became a reality when the Northwestern Ontario Sports Hall of Fame's first exhibit gallery officially opened at its original location on Balmoral Street, with Fred proudly overseeing the festivities as the organization's founding president. Still active as a volunteer with the Hall of Fame, Fred became the first person from the Sports Hall of Fame to receive a 30-year Volunteer Service Award from the province of Ontario. The over 220 men and women and 46 national championship teams that have been inducted into our Hall of Fame and the thousands of artifacts that have been collected from the past and preserved and displayed for present and future generations to learn from and take pride in are a true testament to this builder of sport. It is most fitting that he will now be a part of the place that he dreamed of for his community.